first Seminole War took place in 1818. The Seminoles, an Indian tribe in Spanish-controlled Florida, were attacking American settlements in Georgia. The Americans were mad and decided to send troops to Georgia to deal with the Seminoles, but not invade Florida. There was an Indian village named Fulltown in southwest Georgia. The chief of the village got into an argument with the U.S. commander over land. The U.S. sent 250 men to deal with them. At first, they were beaten off. The next day, the Indians were driven from their village. That is considered the start of the war. A supply boat carrying supplies to fort was attacked on the Apalachicola River. Forty to fifty people were on the boat at the time. Most of the people were killed by the Seminoles. One woman was captured and six made it to the fort. That was the Scott Massacre. We were not to invade Florida, but we were allowed to make small crosses into Florida. After the Scott Massacre, the U.S. Army was ordered to invade, but the commander left to battle pirates. Andrew Jackson was then ordered to lead the invasion. Jackson and his troops went through Florida, burning Seminole villages, killing Seminoles, and leaving a trail of fire and death behind him. St. Mark's, a Spanish fort, was taken by Jackson after killing and burning the Seminoles around the fort and the villages. Jackson captured two British people. They were accused of aiding and enticing the Seminoles and the Spanish to attack the U.S. One was hanged and the other was shot. The Spanish, after losing the capital of Florida, left it knowing they had lost. Jackson went home after capturing Florida, left American troops there, and left a lot of Seminoles dead.